Hello and welcome to this brief overview on the ID8 Apps Renumber Tool. My name is Richard Taylor of ID8 Software and thanks for joining me today. ID8 Renumber is a powerful application that is part of the ID8 Apps suite of solutions for Revit. ID8 Renumber not only allows you to sequentially renumber Revit elements by various methods, but you can easily push data from one Revit parameter to another. The Revit project team is likely to be spending time on a variety of tedious numbering tasks throughout the project. Examples may include doors, rooms, fixtures, equipment, and don't forget about the sheet detail numbers. Liberate yourself from tedium and improve project coordination with ID8 Renumber. ID8 Renumber allows you to choose elements by selecting a path, selecting individual objects, or auto numbering by a view. Rules are easy to manage and are completely customizable, yet they can be saved within the project or saved externally for use on other projects. Proper number and naming is essential for project coordination. Trust ID8 Renumber to get the job done without a lot of overhead. I can choose to start ID8 Renumber from the ID8 Apps tab or select it from the Revit Quick Access Toolbar if I've added it previously by right-clicking on the ID8 Renumber button within the ID8 Apps ribbon panel. In Revit 2017, ID8 Software will have its own unique tab. In Revit 2015 and Revit 2016, the ID8 Apps ribbon panel will appear in the Revit Add-ins tab instead. For all versions, you can also assign a shortcut key to ID8 Renumber for ease of access. In my example, I've used RN as a shortcut key. Let's look at how easy it is to renumber lighting fixtures. When I start the ID8 Renumber tool, it first looks at renumbering rules that are loaded into my Revit project. It then gives me a list of renumbering rules that are relevant to objects in my current view. In my example, I can apply a renumbering rule to grids, lighting, space names, or space numbers because those are Revit elements that are visible in my active view. If I had turned off the lighting fixture category in my active view, that rule would not show up in the list. However, I can always go to my Manage Rules dialog to see all the rules that have been saved or loaded into this project. The current lighting fixture rule reads the space number and then applies a letter increment. The space is currently numbered at 220. Let's update the space number to 300 and then I will start ID8 Renumber to update all the lighting fixture tags accordingly. The default option is to choose the Start Numbering button on the ID8 Renumber dialog. Then I can pick items one at a time in the order that I wish. Notice you can see the tag updating with the new 300 value. Hitting the escape key stops the renumbering operation. A quicker method might be to use a path. A path is just a Revit detail line that can already exist or be drawn at the time of the renumbering operation. Here I'm going to choose the select path crossing method and then choose the start numbering button and simply select on the detail line. A preview results dialog is displayed. Only those items that have a light green background are being changed. The first four items are not changed since we previously had renumbered them by the select elements method. You can select on an element line item in the dialog and zoom to the corresponding Revit element in the active view. I can easily reverse the direction of the renumbering sequence or I can choose to ignore one or several specific elements. If I choose to ignore an element, ID8 Renumber will resequence the numbering scheme without those elements. I can accept changes to apply the sequence or cancel to return to the main ID8 Renumber dialog without applying any changes. Let's switch to a floor plan view for our next example. I will bring up the ID8 Renumber tool in order to renumber rooms. Up to this point we've been using the Select Path Crossing method to select on Revit elements to renumber. Notice how my detail line path crosses through seven different rooms that we will renumber. However, sometimes it's advantageous to use a different method called Select Path Vertex that will only select objects where the detail line path has a vertex. If I switch to that method, ID8 Renumber selects four rooms instead of seven. Only rooms 100, 102, 105, and 106 
have vertices within the room. This is another powerful selection method that ID8 Renumber supports. Let's switch to a sheet view and renumber our detail numbers on a sheet. Again, notice that ID8 Renumber is being context sensitive and only giving me rules that apply to things that I can renumber on this sheet. I can select a start increment and fill out an optional suffix. Both of these options are set up within the rule and can be easily changed. I'm going to choose my renumbering method by path and I can see how quickly and easily it is to renumber these sheet details. ID8 Renumber makes quick work of this very tedious task. Today I've only touched on the surface of all of the workflows that ID8 Renumber can support. Please review our extensive in-product and online help for ID8 Renumber. A good starting point to learn more about ID8 Renumber is our Getting Started tutorials that are included in the ID8 Renumber help topics. ID8 Renumber is a powerful application that is part of the ID8 app's suite of solutions for Revit. ID8 Renumber not only allows you to sequentially renumber Revit elements by various methods, but you can easily push data from one Revit parameter to another. Quickly set up and customize the numbering rules to create sophisticated solutions for hundreds of tedious renumbering tasks. All of our ID8 software solutions are available as a standalone or network configuration. In addition, all of our ID8 software solutions support multiple Revit versions. Please visit our website for extensive help topic information, documentation, pricing, and free trials for ID8 apps as well as all of our other ID8 software solutions. ID8 apps is a collection of four Revit add-on applications that are designed for the everyday Revit user. ID8 apps will improve your productivity and increase your efficiency with difficult, time-consuming, and error-prone Revit workflows, thus allowing you to concentrate more on the process of design rather than wasting time trying to manage your Revit projects. Use these powerful tools independently or together to realize increased productivity and efficiency, ease of design, and enhanced quality for all your Revit projects. Please come visit us at www.id8software.com. I'm Richard Taylor, and thanks for watching.